I want to set up a small network for this room of the house. The goal of this network is to connect four devices together, mainly for file sharing purposes, but they also need to have internet connection. So... I already have a network in my house. Basically, there is a wireless router that provides wired and wireless network and internet connection for my network devices. So one solution probably would be to connect the devices in room B to the same wireless router, the same way the rest of the devices are actually connected. This way they're connected to each other as well as to the internet, right? Yeah, but it wouldn't work for me that way. For two reasons. Number one, I want to be able to somehow separate the network in this room from my home network. Basically, I don't want anybody from outside be able to access the devices in this room. So the access should be within this room only. Number two, I don't want to run Ethernet cables from this room to the wireless router. It's a long way, so it's not very practical and it's going to be ugly. If you followed my videos, you might remember that a while ago, I made a video about how I used an old wireless router to connect the devices in room number two to the main wireless router, which was in room number one. In that video, I actually set up the secondary router as a repeater bridge. So as a repeater bridge, it would wirelessly connect to the primary router and then rebroadcast its wireless network so all the wired and wireless devices in room number two would be able to connect to the network. You might also remember that this cool repeater bridge feature was not available in the stock firmware of the wireless router. So I actually had to install DDWRT firmware on that wireless router. But unfortunately for what I want to do here, I cannot make use of the repeater bridge feature. Because in that solution, the secondary router is going to be in the bridge mode. That basically means that anybody that is connected to the secondary router is going to be on the same network as anybody that is connected to the primary router. Basically, everybody can access everybody, and that's something that I don't want to have here. Luckily, the DDWRT firmware has another feature called the repeater. Not a repeater bridge, just simply a repeater. So before I get to the DDWRT repeater mode, I want to suggest that you watch my video about the DDWRT repeater bridge first if you haven't already and then continue here. Because that video shows you in details how DDWRT wireless bridge and repeater bridge work and then you can come here and see the DDWRT repeater and better understand the similarities and differences between them. And since the DDWRT firmware is required for the repeater feature, you might also be interested in another video that I have, which I actually show how I installed this firmware on my wireless router. So we already know that in the repeater bridge mode, everybody is going to be on the same network and same subnet. For example, here in this setup, the network is 192.168.1.0. The primary router is the DHCP server and every device is on the same network as everyone else. But when we use the repeater mode, it's going to be a different story. The repeater will use a different subnet for its own clients. For example, in this case, it's going to use 192.168.2.0. Basically, the repeater is not in the bridge mode and it works like a router. It actually uses NAT to map the local IP addresses to its WAN IP address. It can also be set up as a DHCP server for its own clients. So before I start, I need to make sure I have these information available about the current wireless network. The wireless network name or SSID the security settings for the wireless network, and the network address or subnet. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I have a wireless router here with a fresh DDWRT firmware installed and there is no existing configuration on the router. Now I'll connect my computer with an Ethernet cable to one of the LAN interfaces of the router. Then on the computer, I'm going to open a browser and go to 192.168.1.1. Here I'm going to create a username and a password for the router. This is going to be used later and every time I will need to log into the DDWRT setup page. The first thing I will need to do when I log into the router is going to be under the wireless and basic settings tab. 
The configuration in this section is going to be very similar to what we did in the repeater bridge video, with the exception of the wireless mode option, which this time I'm going to select the repeater option, not the repeater bridge one. Wireless network mode and wireless network name should match my current wireless network. Basically the repeater is gonna use these settings to connect to the primary router's wireless network. Then here I can add a virtual interface which is gonna be used as the repeater's wireless network. Next I'll go to the wireless security tab. Here I will enter the security settings for the current primary router's wireless network. And then in the virtual interface section I will enter the security settings for the repeater's own wireless network. Next I'll go to the setup and basic setup tab. This is where I can select a subnet for the repeater's local network. For example I'm gonna use 192.168.2.0. I can also enable the DHCP server for the local network. This way the local clients would automatically receive their IP addresses from the DHCP server on the repeater. There is another optional step too which is under the security tab. This step is to disable the SPI firewall and only check the filter multicast option and uncheck everything else. But in my experience, everything worked fine even when the SPI firewall was enabled. So, as it is also suggested in the DDWRT repeater page, I would leave the SPI firewall on and in case I experience any issues, then I would consider turning it off. So, as the final step, I'll click the apply settings button, which is gonna push the configuration to the router. Now in the browser, I'm going to use the repeater's new IP address to log in. I can see that there is a WAN IP address which tells me that the repeater is successfully connected to the primary router. And sure enough, my computer also has internet connection. A wireless computer that is connected to the repeater's Wi-Fi also has internet connection. So everything is working as expected, but I'm gonna make another video and in that video I'm gonna go over some common issues that we might have with DDWRT repeater and how I can troubleshoot them. So if you are interested, definitely subscribe to the channel so you get a notification as soon as the video is ready. But until then, thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you liked it. Share it if you think others might like it too. Thank you again and I will see you next time.